And that view is from the WB-57, which is one of NASA's high-altitude planes that is tracking. Um, now, because of the way that this uh, camera is configured, it does look like it is uh, dark, but it is indeed daytime, and you're beginning to see that plasma trail as uh, Dragon re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. All of that is expected. We are uh, anticipating an acquisition of signal around 2.51 p.m. Pacific time, so just minutes from now, and you may hear the core begin to hail out um, or call Dragon uh, for communications and see if we can potentially get communications with them a little bit earlier. Following this, we'll have two events in rapid succession. We'll have the Drogue parachutes deploy at 2.53 p.m. Pacific, followed by the mains just one minute later at 2.54 p.m. Pacific time, ahead of a splashdown at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Three minutes pretty incredible views of the Dragon spacecraft making its way home back to planet Earth with the Crew-9 astronauts on board. Once again, this view is coming from the WB-57 plane, that heat shield we can see doing magnificent work as it works to... Um, Freedom, SpaceX, comm check. All right, we're gonna start hearing uh, the SpaceX crew operations research, resource engineer. SpaceX, everything is with you. 4.16, enjoying the ride. Copy that, Freedom. Great news there from Commander Nick Haig reporting back. We see a healthy flight computer, expect automated shoot deployment. Like we said before, things moving very quickly as Dragon Freedom makes its way home. Next event uh, coming up will be deployment of the Drogue parachutes. This occurs around 18,000 feet. GPS has converged. Expect nominal altitude for Drogue chute deployment. We're about two minutes away from deployment of those drogue parachutes. Now the heat shield uh, is, is continuing to work to slow the vehicle down. That, that entry period, the, the, space, the, excuse me, the, the Dragon spacecraft went from orbital velocity about 17,500 miles per hour down to about 350 miles per hour. So it really gives you a sense of why that plasma builds up on the exterior of the capsule thanks to the heat shield and the work that it does. Those drogue parachutes will slow it down from 350 to about 119 miles per hour. We can see... 15 kilometers. Brace for drogue window. We can see seat rotation happening inside the capsule. Great to get those first views of our crew members. Once again, the capsules are going about 350 miles per hour when the drogues are deployed. Um, those drogue parachutes that we manufacture here in-house are uh, going to slow the, the, the spacecraft down to 119 miles per hour. And that is when we will see the main parachutes deploy, and that occurs about 6,000 feet above the ocean's surface. And we are expecting drogue deployment at 2.53 p.m. Pacific, so we should see it any second now. And there you are getting a great view of Crew-9 inside Dragon Freedom as it returns back to Earth. We are awaiting the drogue deploys. This view coming from the WB-57 high-altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue descent rate now. You can hear the crowd here. Visual on two healthy drogues. crowd here very excited as Dragon Freedom continues to make its way back to planet Earth.